Today's video is sponsored by my friends at Exoterra. Make your reptiles feel at home. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. So as you guys all know by now, reptiles and amphibians are ectotherms. This means that they seek out external sources of heat to achieve and maintain their ideal body temperature. Most of them will use sunlight and a combination of warm surfaces to do this and move around during the day to, as I said, achieve that desired temperature. Recognize the importance of maintaining the species specific temperatures needed for the reptiles we keep in herpetoculture. There are devices available to ensure that these temperatures are accurately achieved and maintained. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Exoterra thermostat. Exoterra has an exciting new line of thermostats that just hit the market. And the thing about these devices is that they are accurate, reliable, and easy to use. So what we're gonna do is talk a little bit about the models they're now offering, the exciting features they each have specific to different types of needs for various species kept in herpetoculture, and then after we're going to be setting up the thermostat 600 watt dimming and pulse proportionate unit to Sabzi's enclosure. Thank you Exoterra for sending me this model, I'm excited to put it to work, and I really appreciate the functionality of this device, and well, We'll get to that in a sec, because it's actually a really cool device. All right, let's talk a little bit about those models. Each model uses different types of temperature control technology, so before we talk about that, I want to explain the difference between on and off, dimming, and pulse proportionate technology. Thermostats that use an on and off function shut devices they control off and on to maintain and regulate the set temperature. For example, a light that is set to 80 degrees Fahrenheit will be shut off if the temperature exceeds this and turned back on when it starts to cool down below it. Thermostats that use dimming technology reduce the power to the controlled appliance until it lowers or brings that temperature up. Keep in mind that when used with a light emitting heating device, this will literally reduce the light output if the device is being dimmed by the thermostat. The newest form of technology used to control temperatures in thermostats is called pulse proportional technology. This system actively regulates the temperature. It's the most accurate accurate mode and what it does is brings the device up to the desired temperature quickly and pulses to keep it as close to that temperature as possible constantly. Each type of temperature controlling technology is best suited for specific appliances and bulbs, which is why several of the thermostats actually feature settings that allow you to switch between the various methods of temperature control. So now that we've gone through that, let's take a look at the six models Exoterra offers. The first two models are the 100 watt and 300 watt electric on-off thermostats. These thermostats are very accurate with only a 0.5 degree temperature swing. They are best used with heat mats and non-light emitting heating devices such as ceramic heat emitters and can regulate the temperature of units between 100 watts and 300 watts respectively. Both models feature a waterproof remote sensor which can withstand extremely humid enclosures. They also feature a red LED light that illuminates when the thermostats are on or delivering power to the plugged in appliance. Choose set temperatures between 68 Fahrenheit and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Once set, all you have to do is plug in your heating device and place your temperature sensor in the desired location within your enclosure. The next two models are the 300 watt dimming pulse proportionate thermostat and 600 watt electronic thermostat with day and night timer. These thermostats can be used with heat mats and non light emitting heating devices using the pulse proportionate mode or light emitting heating devices when set to dimming mode. The 600 watt thermostat features a clear display that shows the actual and set temperatures as well as allowing you to program a day and night temperature setting. These units control the temperatures of heating devices up to 300 watts for the first unit, not to 600 watts for the second. Both models feature the same waterproof remote sensor and red light. Next we have the model that I was sent by Exoterra. This is the 600 watt digital electronic thermostat with day and night timer and dual receptacles for controlling a day and night heat emitting device. Each receptacle can control up to 300 watts for a combined total of 600 watts. 
The device features a clear display that indicates the actual and set temperatures. Set the temperature between 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit for day and night cycles. Plug in devices and place waterproof remote sensor in desired location within the enclosure. Lastly is the 600 watt digital electronic thermostat and hygrostat. This unit is considered the flagship of the Exoterra thermostats and features a dimming and pulse proportionate mode, day and night functions, dual receptacles for heat devices up to 600 watts and humidity devices up to 100 watts. The device has a clear display that indicates the actual and set temperatures as well as the humidity levels. Set desired temperature between 50 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit for day and night cycles and day and night humidity levels of up to 99%. The water resistant sensor should be placed in a location it won't get directly wet to get the most accurate humidity readings. Alright guys, so now that we've learned about the different models they have, it's time to open the one that I was sent. This is the Thermostat 600 with dimming and pulse proportional control. And it also has a day and night timer with dual receptacles, which is really cool. Alright, let's go right in here. Pop that open. Oh, look at that sleek packaging, a few of the different products that can be used with this device, which is really cool. And here we go. So we have our little controller knob that's to adjust the device. We'll talk more about that in a sec. And here's all our wires and fun stuff. Day and night, very important, our manual. All right, let's get the box out of the way that on the table everything looks really sleek I do really like the sleek design I'm not playing around here like it is actually really nice it's just really elegant it's not super like huge and bulky and weird yeah it's, it's a nice little just a nice little box with a screen it's perfect all right guys so as we had previously discussed we were looking at the different models and the reason why I specifically chose this one was because I like that it has a day outlet and a night outlet. What it allows us to do is control two separate devices that'll maintain the exact temperature we want to achieve during the day for the animal and at night. So I'm going to be using this thermostat with Sabzi. We're going to be controlling his daytime ceramic heat emitter with the day outlet and the nighttime ceramic heat emitter that keeps the enclosure around 80 degrees Fahrenheit with the nighttime outlet. So as soon as you adjust the timer and everything with the device, it knows when to switch between day mode and night mode which is a super, super cool function. It really facilitates everything for you. I mean, imagine right now you have a bearded dragon and you're trying to maintain some level of warmth at night because you live in a colder country and your house gets cold at night. You can do that so easily with this device and maintain the precise temperatures you require. So let's go ahead now and install the device and yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, here's Sabzi in all his glory. He just ate a bunch of crickets. I set up a nice platform here for the thermostat to be set up on. Let's do this now. So the first thing we're going to do is plug in the device. Next, what we're going to do is set the clock so that the thermostat knows what time it is. Now what's kind of interesting is Exoterra actually created a like tamper resistant push button dial to control the thermostat. So you actually have to press this into the back of the thermostat and use it to control and modify your settings. This is so that you're not going to accidentally press a button or change the settings which could inadvertently harm your pet. So this is a neat idea. We're going to go ahead and fit this in to the back. You can see here, it kind of just clicks in. You match it, and then it's in. There you go. And then you can turn the knob. But anyhow, the first thing we're gonna do, as I said, is adjust the timer. So let's do that now. So the first thing we're gonna do is press and hold the T button for four seconds. Once we've done that, it'll start flashing the time that it thinks it is. Now we can adjust this time like so by turning the knob, should be, what time is it? Okay, 
we're going to tap the time button again to go to the next field and we're going to dial this back and tap time again so now we want to set our temperature because obviously 71 is not what we want uh, and we're going to do that here by holding the sun button so as you can see on the back it's very simple we have a sun symbol and a moon symbol this is to modify the setting set for daytime temperatures moon is set for nighttime so we're going to hold the sun button now and now we are modifying those temperatures so for the tree monitor we want to crank this dial up to 130 Fahrenheit. So you need it to be nice and toasty. Okay, that is set. Now this is where a really cool feature kicks in. This thermostat has two different ways of controlling your temperatures. There is a dimming function, which we're set to right now, and a pulse proportionate function. Dimming is pretty efficient, but pulse proportionate is what we want because we're using a non-light emitting device. So they thought through it all. Basically, we have the opportunity to change between on off, pulse proportionate, and dimming. There's three different settings. You can have an on and off function, dimming, and then pulse proportionate. This is a setting we want for ceramic heat emitting. So now that we have that set, we're going to hold the night button. And we are now controlling night. We want our temperature set to 80 Fahrenheit. Set. I'm gonna turn the dial to pulse proportionate and set that. And just like that, we're ready. You'll notice the red light comes on because the device is now heating, giving power to the outlets to get to the heat you set, which in our case is 130 Fahrenheit. It'll turn on to show us that it is active. So now what we need to do is prepare our probe, which is here. It's a really nice, high quality probe. It's waterproof can be safely used in a very humid environment. So, you know, if you guys have Chinese water dragons, different amphibians that actually do like a decent amount of heat, or an animal that just spends time near water and high humidity, this device is gonna do a great job of holding up in those more tech harsh environments. So let's go ahead now and install the probe in the back of the enclosure. So these are the two ceramic heat emitters we're going to be controlling. What we're going to do is lift the lid. Now, some of you may not have even known this function. Exoterra has slots here that you can open and close for your electronic or wired appliances. Sometimes <laughs> these under you wondering what's going on. So what we're gonna do is open the slot, lift the lid and allow the probe wire to pass through here. And then we're going to choose the furthest one so that we can close all these and not have any crickets escape. All right, guys. So now that we have our probe inside the enclosure, time to actually situate it. Stabzy. Silly goose. Come here, buddy. Go to your house. Go to your house. Get in there. Let go. <laughs> it's time to actually move this probe under the devices that we want to control. So obviously you don't want it just like out in the open. I'm gonna try and sort of move it to be hidden behind and then have it pop up right around here because this is where my ceramic heat emitters are. Now you can wrap it around your wood, different hardscape. In this case, I'm gonna put it like that. And now it's directly under the hottest ceramic heat emitter and the other one's right here. So what I'm going to do is sort of Hide it along here and then weave it there. So as long as it stays in this position, we should be good. <laughs> Sabzi comes along here, wraps along here, 
and sits there. You could even tie some moss and things to it, just stay away from the probe, obviously, um, if you really wanted to kind of conceal it better. But that's kind of a universal thing um, with these probes. So yeah, we're gonna have it set there. And now we just need to plug in our devices that we're controlling, don't we, Sabzi? Yeah. Plug in the devices. Awesome. All right, so here we go. Obviously, it's very important you make sure that you plug the right device into the right outlet. So this is my day ceramic heat emitter. I'm gonna plug that in like so, and then I have my nighttime one here. Now remember, the nighttime device will not even turn on until nighttime because it switches on based on what you set on the thermostat. So right now, this is showing us on because it is making sure or cranking up the temperature to hit the 130 on the day device. Sabzi, what you doing? Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Where you going? Good boy, good boy. <laughs> See the temperature is climbing now slowly and we're getting a more accurate reading. Aren't we sabsy? <laughs> but yeah, this is awesome. Now we can accurately control the temperature that sabsy needs to thrive without just kind of hoping for the best, having the devices plugged in. Thank you so much, Exoterra. This is an awesome thermostat. Well guys, there you have it. As you can see, the Exoterra thermostat line is an effective way to make sure that your reptile's temperature needs are going to be met and maintained. I hope you also understand the importance of actually using a thermostat with your pets. Too many people think that you can kind of just wing it, plug your lights in, and not actually make sure that your device is emitting the proper amount of heat. And that can actually be a dangerous thing, especially with heat pads and really high heat emitting devices. So please consider making that investment. It's nice to know that a company like Exoterra is putting out a high quality product that's effective, affordable, and very precise. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again to Exoterra for sponsoring this video and for providing me with a thermostat to use on one of my own animals. I'm sure it's going to do a great job of maintaining Sabzi's temperature needs. Awesome. If you guys are looking for information on these thermostats, you can check out exoterra.com. If you're looking to purchase your own Exoterra thermostat, you can contact your nearest pet retailer or reptile shop for more information. Well guys, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's product video. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon. See you all on Friday and take care. Bye guys.